horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. Hey, how are you all doing? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the weather is actually really starting to get nice here in the state of Jefferson, and so that means it's uh, perfect weather for fixing the hole in my roof in the bathroom. So I'll be taking a quick detour to do that. But for the most part, I'm going to be trying to get some uh, more work done on my favorite project. So let's uh, see what I got going on inside. This uh, this table arrived. It's a little disappointing. I, I thought it was oak, but it's actually oak veneer on a piece of chipboard, but you know it wasn't that expensive and it'll work fine. It's gonna go right here between these chairs here and these seats. My friend uh, Pat next door has got some hardware he said that'll work to mount that, so I'm kind of waiting, hoping he'll bring this guy the hardware along and I, I'll get that installed, but that'll be pretty quick. And here's what these cabinet knobs earned, ended up um, you can't really see it hopefully too well. I plugged the holes up with putty that I had from the old latches and sanded everything down and verithaned it. And so that's what they look like. Now I have these magnetic latches, but they're going to have to be mounted back. See there, you can see the holes. They're going to have to be mounted back here on a block of wood or something so it can shut all the way. So what I think I'm going to do is just Go ahead and put some brass screws through these holes. Best way to hide a hole is to use it again, I guess, and then mount these. So that I'll get to that later. I just kind of I don't have the stuff. I have to go to town and blah blah blah. But um, meanwhile, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on up on the roof. Get that out of the way. Well, it's a nice day for fixing a roof, at least. Here's a shot of the valley. Man, I'm too heavy to be walking on this roof after seeing those one by two <laughs> toy roof trusses. A little scary. Uh, my old house, long, way long time ago, I was walking across the roof of my old house. It was a super fixer upper one day and my foot went through the roof. <laughs> That's when you know you have a leaky roof, when your foot goes through. Anyway, I couldn't really figure out where the leak was coming from. I stuck a nail up through the through there, and there it is. And now I can see what's happening. It's coming in through here. See, there was no apparent hole up here, but it's coming in through here and getting in that way. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, I used to use tar for this, but this is, uh, this is elastomeric roof patch. This stuff is clear. It kind of looks like uh, silicon, but it's not silicon. You wouldn't want to use silicon for patching a roof. So, I'm going to use this stuff and uh, apply it liberally all over the place and hopefully that will fix it. So now I'm going to be working, moving on to the bedroom here. Uh, there's a, this is going to be where my desk goes right here. And I'm in the process of making um, a desk. I'll show you that in a minute. And over here there's going to be a bed that can fold out and attached to the desk so I can have this entire area back here as a, a, like a king size bed if I want. So I'm in the process of making this. This is tongue and groove one by six and you can see I put them together and hinged them so this entire thing can lift up. Let's see. This entire thing can lift up like this. See? 
and uh, I don't have a latch so I can't really leave I guess I can leave it yeah I can okay as long as I don't make any sudden movements this is a chest of drawers that I cut off the top I cut this part off and then I cut the top drawer off and I put this back and that's uh, planned on going over on this side here the bed will be over here but this is the, the like the computer desk and then I'm making this shelf kind of uh, thing that's going to go against the wall hold it up on that side and I've yet to determine what's going to hold it up on this side but it'll be normally down I can put my computer on there but if I need to for some reason I can pop it up like that and leave this space open that's the idea at least and this thing will be removable so I could leave it in place if I wanted to take it out and it's gonna again go over here and then on this side I'm gonna have a bed frame that's at the same height as as this so the bed frame will also be expanding and I hope to get to that that'll be kinda cool but I don't really have a way of showing what that'll look like at this point but it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of a pull-out bed it'll expand so that such that it'll come all the way over to here so I'll be able to con easily configure this so the entire thing would fit a king size or queen size bed or I can have it as a regular single bed right here and then this will also flip up so it'll make sense when you see it it'll make sense to me when I do it <laughs> so this thing is gonna this is of course it's made out of the same stuff as the top here on this side this side will be right about here this side will be against the wall back back there and then uh, this is going to be a shelf and this is going to be a shelf and then the whole thing will bolt uh, screw into the wall or something and uh, then I got this this stuff this is definitely overkill but I have honestly I've had quite a quite a number of shelves sag and fail on me I don't know whether I overload them or what but you make them out of this stuff then you're not going to sag and this is going to go what this one here and then another one here and then uh, we'll see what that looks like here's how this turned out so far at least I painted these pieces of plywood black they're gonna get shelf paper on them and then I'm gonna take this stuff and dress it out on the front here that kind of a face and then verithane the whole thing this included and then this will be attached it's just sitting there right now and what I need it's actually pretty sturdy but I need another leg over there and there we go so I'm gonna cut this tongue off I'm just kind of checking it out to see if it fits so this this is gonna hold up this side and that's nice and sturdy now well it looks like that's all I'm gonna get to this week uh, so next week I'll definitely be working on the bed probably finishing that up as well as all the other loose ends are kind of left hanging around so uh, hope to see you back next week and thanks for watching hope you're doing well wherever you are later